Alright folks, it's time for my 14th game of Jeopardy for the PlayStation console. currently have a 13 game winning soul of $111,500. Welcome to Jeopardy. Have fun and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Alex. The camera's low on battery now. But luckily I charged up, charge up my camera with another battery. With the second battery that I have last night. So, we're good to go. Let's see what the categories are for this first round of play. Let's see them. Contemporaries. Literary potpourri. Movie trivia. Biblical words and phrases. Birds. World history. All right, player one, start us off. And if my camera does get past seven minutes, I'll call that apart. Literary potpourri for 100. As he had done, his Frederick Henry and a farewell to arms worked in the ambulance service in World War I. Player one? Who is Ernest Hemingway? That's it. All right, pick again. Literary potpourri for 200. Cameroonian novelist Mongo Betty writes in this European language, an official language of Cameroon. Player two? French? Oh, that's what I thought. That's it, exactly. Okay, player two. World History 100. In 447, he and his band of Huns devastated the area between the Mediterranean and Black Seas. Player one? Who is Attila? Attila the Hun. That's it, exactly. Your choice, player one. Uh, let me have a uh, literary potpourri for 300. This giant novelist wrote a series of stories about traveling petticoat sales lady, Emma McChesney. Player Who is one. Edna Ferber? Yes. All right, pick again. Literary potpourri, 400. Nora Ephron wrote the searing novel Heartburn after her divorce from this Washington Post reporter. Anyone? No. Carl Bernstein. All right, pick again. Uh, literary Popery 500. The ghoulish poem Ulalume is his only important work of 1847, the year his child bride died. Player three. Nathaniel Hawthorne? That is no. correct. We were looking for Edgar Allan Poe. All right, pick again. Uh, world history for 200. Amerigo Vespucci provided supplies for this man's second voyage of exploration in 1493. Who is Everyone? Chris Columbus? Guess I gotta put Christopher. Who's Christopher Columbus? Why, yes. Alright, pick again. World history 300. In 331 BC, the Greek and Macedonian armies under this general conquered the Persians. Oh, Alexander the Great, that's what I thought. Didn't want to risk it though. Alright, pick again. Uh, World History 400. This emperor of the Aztecs presented Hernan Cortez with rich gifts, believing he was the god Quetzalcoatl. Player two? Montezuma? That's right. Oh. Player two, what will it be? I guess in second place is 600. Movie trivia, 100. One third of the dialogue in this Kevin Costner film is in the Lakota language, with English subtitles. Heck if I know, I don't even watch that. Player three. Dances with Wolves? Yes. Okay. It's your turn, Player Three. Where to now? Movie Cherry for 200. This 
co-star of An American in Paris was discovered by Kelly at Le Ballet des Champs-Élysées. Player two? Leslie Karen. That's right. What'll it be, player two? Birds, a hundred. It's the only bird larger than an emu. Player one? What is an ostrich? To be sure. Yeah. Your choice, player one. I'm tied for the lead now. Uh, world history for five. This Union ironclad was launched at Greenpoint, New York, January 30th, 1862. This I don't know. The monitor. Oh. Your choice, player one. Uh, birds for 200. Answer. Okay. Player one, please make your wish. Let's go 500. The budgerigar, or budgie, is the most popular of these colorful pet birds. Player one. Pet birds. What is a parrot? That's right. Yeah, thirteen hundred. First for three hundred. The sacred species of this long-billed wading bird was sacred to the ancient Egyptians. Player three. The ibis. That's it. Okay, the ibis. Your choice, player three. Contemporaries 100. While Thomas Chippendale built furniture, this Thomas constructed the Declaration of Independence. Who is Thomas Jefferson? You are correct. Player one, what'll it be? Uh, contemporary.